Welcome to episode 22 of Action RPG Game in Unity Weighted Drop System. Right now, if I click on the chest, it will drop a fixed predefined item. But in every action RPG, you have a random drop system which determines a random item which will be dropped to you. So we want to introduce a drop system which will drop a random item selected from list of the possible drops. Create a new scriptable object called item drop list. To be able to create an instance of the item drop list, add create asset menu attribute. Make list of item data. And add four items into the list. So let's test this amazing and complex drop system right away. Select Game Manager and create and add a new script called Drop System Test. Inside, create serialized reference to the item drop list. And in the update, if we press some button, we want to call and create a new method called Get Drop Name. Inside newly created method, we want to return a random item and post this item name into the debug log. To do this, we need to return a random item from list of item possible to be dropped. So make a new method called getDrop. which will return an item data, an random item from the list of possible drops. Let's test this. Set up everything and if we press Z, actually let's remove down. And now if we press Z, we will see that they are being selected at random to be dropped. they are being selected at random to be dropped. But each item have an equal chance to be dropped. What if we want to introduce a probability and rarity of drops? Making diamond in our list more rare, for example, than ball. To achieve this, we will use weighted drop chances. Inside item drop, create class called item drop. Inside this class, define item which gonna drop and its weight in drop list. Weight represent how likely this item to drop relative to other drops. I go over this system in more details in my dedicated video for this system, which you can check on my channel. Inside item drop list, we want to use weight, and to use it, first we need to calculate the total sum of all item drop weights. Let's make weight by default have value of 1.
Let's set the weight in the editor. If I set weight like this, it makes each item have an equal probability to be dropped. Now if I set weights like this, it will mean that for one diamond on average you will get 5 drops of a bow, 5 drops of an iron helmet and 5 drops of leather helmet. To make this system work, we need to calculate total weight of all items in our drop list. Create new method called calculate total weight. Inside cycle through all the item drops and sum its weights. Then in get drop we will return a randomly determined drop based on their weights. So make a roll between 0 and total weight of entire drop list. And then cycle through the list, subtracting the weight of the item drop. And if the roll is less than 0, it means this item is our drop. So what we are doing is, we cycling through the list of our possible drops, subtracting the weight from our roll, and the moment the, our roll is less than zero, it means that we found our drop and we need return this drop. Let's test this. For now, call calculate total weight over here. Don't worry, we will optimize this in a moment. As you can see, we have our drop being dropped based on proportionally on the weights of the drops. There is a small miscalculation, we should add 1 to the total weight after calculating it, because in random range the, the max value is never going to be rolled, so we need to add 1. Good. Now as you can see, if I make diamond and leather helmet with weight 1, while everything else is 5, we will get drops proportionally close between diamond and leather helmet and close between bow and iron helmet. Good. Please consider supporting me on Patreon, you will get cool perks like being featured like those cool people you can see right now on your screen, or access to project files on Patreon. To avoid calculating weights every time we roll for an item, let's do it through context menu. So after doing some changes, you just need to click here and it will recalculate total weights. Let's change the source of the item for the chest to be drop list.
And now if I open chest, it will drop a random item based on the drop list. Good, this is it for this episode special. Thank you Stormbreaker9000 and the soul hush do for their generous supports.